What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. I am not the single guy. Today we're going to talk about why most guys act like simps. Now I've worded this very carefully. I said why most guys act like simps because I don't think most of you watching this channel are actually simps, but you do act like it on a regular basis. I don't believe you were born into a certain situation. I don't believe that we have to necessarily be something just because the circumstances right now are what's dictated for us. Okay, so what I'm going to talk about is the reasons for this because it is happening more often. If you look at the stats, men are having less sex, men are becoming less masculine, men are becoming less empowered and less confident, and actually they're becoming less attractive to women. Why are they acting like simps? Why are they being all these nice guys? Why is that the number one thing that people are searching for on the web? It's because it's the biggest problem. Okay, so what was the cause of this? I'm going to talk about the economic factors that contributed to this, I'm going to talk about the societal factors that contributed to this, and what you can do to overcome this because I don't know about you, but I grew up in a society that kind of pushed me to become more of a simpy guy and I chose to reject that story. I chose to become the man that I am today uh, out of pure, not, not force of will, but you know, I had influences and, and, and things that helped me out. But I chose not to be that guy because I was that guy for a very long time. So the first reason why most guys become simps or act like simps is because they learn it. You learn it in school, you learn it at home, you learn it um, in your everyday life. Okay, think about the classroom. The classroom is usually taught by a woman and you have to raise your hand to do really anything. You are taught to ask for permission for every single little thing in your life. You can't even go to the bathroom in today's schools without raising your hand. You have to follow all the rules and anytime you go against the grain of what society is telling you, anytime you try and act or do things or figure things out for yourself or do something a little different from other people, you're punished for it. So what guys learn to do is when they want something rather than go for it themselves, they learn to try and ask for it or be nice or win the teacher over with favors. This might get you out of trouble in the classroom, does not help you when you're trying to win over a girl that you really like. She's not attracted to that. She will not be into that kind of behavior. In fact, that will, that's the fastest way to become a simp is to think that that's going to work. So it's a learned behavior that we have in school and most of the training that I give my students is I have to undo some of that programming that's been with them for a long time. Okay, it's not just with school, it's within the household as well too. Most guys are raised by their mothers because there's a lot of absentee fathers these days. They don't learn how to have a masculine presence and go after those kinds of things. The same rules apply in the household a lot of times too, where you just don't say a whole lot or try not to act out so you don't get in trouble with your mother. Okay, so this programming is something that is part of the reason why a lot of guys end up becoming simps. And it's very sad, but it's something that you just have to recognize and start being able to deal with it. Okay, the second reason is that there aren't that many physical jobs anymore. There aren't that many traditionally masculine activities that we do in today's day and age. At least 50 years ago, a lot of people were working in like, you know, uh, physical labor jobs, construction, you know, uh, oil fields, uh, farming. Barely any people do those jobs anymore. Um, and I'm not saying women couldn't do those jobs, but they were more often men, uh, male dominated. So most men were doing that. They got a kind of like, um, you know, there's this kind of primal feel that most men have for to do physical activities. And you just don't really get that when you're staring in front of a computer, which is how most jobs are now. Uh, or maybe when you're asking for somebody's order at a, like, you know, at a, I don't know, a fast food joint or whatever. So like most jobs don't fulfill men in a masculine way like they used to. And as a result, women are just as qualified to do these jobs. And sometimes they do them better, honestly. Like women have been proven to be better employees um, than men. Men are usually more entrepreneurial and like manager positions. But it, when it comes to being an employee, a woman is much better fit for the job market than a guy is on average, and not all the time. So men are becoming less useful in today's society economically. Okay, and that's another reason why we're seeing a lot of guys go into simp mode because they're not used to acting like men in the workplace or in their school. I um, mean, it's kind of a sad thing. You know, we haven't had a war in a very long time. We haven't had any of those things and that's good, but it also turns men uh, a little bit softer. So they have, there's a saying about this where it says that good times create weak men, uh, weak men create tough times, tough times create strong men. So it's kind of like a cycle. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, we're always progressing in society and, you know, to a certain, for certain things we are. 
Uh, but I believe things kind of uh, they come in they come in waves as well too. And right now we're we're actually at a really good point. You know, even though people think that you know the world's going to collapse every single week, you know, infant infant mortality is really low. Uh, barely anyone's dying of diseases, despite the fact that we had a pandemic. You know, like if you compare that pandemic to the you know 1918 flu that happened, uh, there's a lot less people that are dying. And so we live in a world where we don't have to like put ourselves in danger a whole lot. Um, I myself have you know tried to go out and find and do maybe more masculine activities like I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu, martial arts, like I grapple and choke people every single day. Uh, I'm probably never going to use this skill in my everyday life. Like I'm probably going to get in maybe one or two fights, um, you know, maybe uh, for, the, for the rest of my life. And they probably will just be minor scuffles. So a lot of these traditional masculine activities are, are not there anymore. So how do we fight this? How do we fight against what society is kind of like pushing people to do? It's a, you have to make a choice. Too many guys are picking the easy route and just doing what they've been told and just letting society dictate how they should behave. You have to make a choice every single day and the choice is don't live an easy life because an easy life leads to more struggle. It leads to more unhappiness. You know, you you take the guy who doesn't go work out, who doesn't eat healthy. Why? Because those things are the easiest things that he can do. But later on, he starts getting heart disease. He starts getting, he can't move around that much. Um, he starts getting irritable and depressed because he's not getting outside and, and, and doing the things that actually make you healthy, which at the moment are not the most attractive things to do. So what I invite you guys to do is the choice that I made a long time ago, was I chose Right now, I was not going to live the easiest life that I could. I was going to do the hard things now so I could live an easy life later. And the choice is yours. You can either suffer now, not necessarily suffer now, but work hard now and then live easy later or live easy now and suffer for the rest of your life. Okay, so the choice is yours. In life, in society, I don't know about any time period. I don't know about any age where anybody has had it totally easy and they can just do whatever they want. Maybe if you're like a king or you whatever, super, uh, you have everything taken care of you, but even they have issues and, and troubles too. You have to pick your poison. And I would invite you to pick the right kind of poison so you can become a more masculine guy. You can stop being a simp um, and embrace the struggle of life. Cool. Uh, this is something that I coach guys on every single day about how to do that. And um, yeah, that's what I invite you guys to do. Cool. Well, if you guys made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. Uh, I'm just coming out right now with a new free texting cheat sheet, so you can see it in the description box below. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.